your system performance is majorly dependent on these two components. So we're going through all CPUs and GPUs from AMD, NVIDIA and Intel to see which ones have the best performance. Now we've categorized this into three major segments starting off with entry level. Now the assumption here is 50,000 is your buying price and you're going to be buying a CPU within that budget. The i3 12100F or 13100F and the ARC A380 kind of have the best price to performance in this segment. Yes, the A380 wasn't that great when it launched, but with consistent driver updates, the A380 has become a compelling option. But what really kills the competition in this segment is support for AV1 encoding and 6GB of VRAM, which is why number one Hogwarts Legacy like titles will system in your system. And with you can probably think about streaming too. That too at the highest quality with the lowest file size. FUP ne jayega. And if that wasn't enough, video editing and rendering jaise task me this is ahead of most of the competition. Matlab kya chahiye aur kya chahiye? Main batata hu. Now coming to the CPU, i3 series has actually been a recommendation for this price bracket for about two years now. Because yeh segment me koi bhi aur CPU aapko is jaise clock speed nahi dega. It's damn fast especially single core performance is actually critical for most workloads these days and since it's the latest gen aap kabhi bhi future mein i5 ya i7 ko aaram se upgrade kar sakte ho in fact not just cpu even if you upgrade your gpu to something like a 4060 you'll probably not face any kind of bottleneck you absolutely cannot go wrong with this combo now in the same segment but with a slightly higher budget of about 80k i think the cpu can still be the same if you want, you could upgrade to an i5 or Ryzen 5, 13400F on the Intel side and 7600 on the AMD side. But our recommendation would be to keep your focus on the GPU. Something like an A770 or the AMD 6750XT. This can be a really solid improvement over the A380. In fact, the A770 comes with 16 GB of VRAM, which kind of makes it obvious that Intel has become the new underdog in the GPU market. Don't you think? Let us know in the comments, by the way. Now, moving on to the mid-tier segment with a budget of about 1.2 to 1.5 lakhs. We think the RX 7800 XT combined with the i5 and Ryzen 5 makes a great choice. 7800 XT, we have review it, you can check it out over here. It's really a brilliant card. From content creation to gaming, you'll probably struggle to find a better value option than this card. Unless you're involved in 3D development and apps like Unreal Engine and stuff like that. For that, you can watch this video to get a clearer understanding of our recommendations on 3D applications. Either way, since this video is based on gaming focus builds, we'll stick to that topic. And in CPU, mein, i5 becomes a great value option by Intel. Matlab 10 cores, 16 threads and just scalar single core performance. Kya zarurat hai? Ainan ki zarurat hi nahi dost. i5 is in the bath. You can easily game on 2K, 100 plus FPS, even on 4K in most games without breaking a sweat. So I don't really see a better option over here. Now finally, let's talk about the high-end segment. High-end. Okay, so while reaching this price point and this segment, performance becomes so abundant that people start aesthetics ko zyada priority dena shuru kar But for the deep Indian desire to always buy the best bank for your buck, we will talk about performance. Ki baat for CPU, we actually have a clear winner. Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with two options. Depending on which one you prefer, we have the 4080 and the 7900XTX. Two options because both of them cost around the same price have their own sets of benefits. So yeah, dono consider karlo yaar. If you're the kind of person who's into single player experience focused games, they say Red Dead Redemption, Cyberpunk, the RTX series with its amazing ray tracing performance will be a good option for you. But if you're the kind of guy who's purely looking for max FPS, 7900XTX will do you better justice. And 7800X3D ke baare mein toh kya hi bole? 3D cache zindabad, it's actually that good. It leaves every other CPU in probably any gaming benchmark behind. There is kind of a no competition scenario over here. And with that, we've covered the best launches of this year. And yes, 14 Gen has launched, but uske ilawa, these are the best options you can go in 2023. And if you're looking for a PC build, contact Kariya Hame on a toll-free website, WhatsApp, kuch bhi, email bhi kar sakte ho. Until next time, cheers.